Spotlight, one organization in the Middle East is helping artists of all abilities make a living and gain their own independence. But what's truly amazing is how these artists paint their amazing works. I-24 News culture correspondent Maya Margit has the story. Netta Gnor was only 15 years old when she became paralyzed from the neck down. An infection hit her nervous system, causing her to lose control of all four limbs. She's been confined to a wheelchair ever since, but that hasn't stopped her from pursuing her dreams. And after um, I became disabled, I saw uh, in a rehabilitation center, I met a girl and she was painting uh, both with her mouth and her foot. And she inspired me to try painting with my mouth. I just fell in love with painting and my mouth became like a second hand or a third hand. For the past 50 years, a small group of Israeli artists have painted with their feet or mouths. The Association of Mouth and Foot Painting Artists, or MFPA, is a for-profit international organization that helps disabled artists sell their work. Thanks to them, Netta was able to publish two children's books filled with her colorful and quirky illustrations. If it wasn't for this organization, I'm not so sure where I was today. It made me like feel so much more independent than I was before I was a member. Today, hundreds of artists from nearly 80 countries are members of the association. Mouth painter Itzika Deer is one of them. He was an engineer in the Israeli Air Force, but at the age of 24, he got into a terrible motorcycle accident. At some point in my hospitalization, in which I was bedridden for over a year and a half, the chairman of the Association of Mouth and Foot Painting Artists proposed that I join the organization. In the beginning, it's very hard to paint with one's mouth, both mentally and physically, but over time you get used to it and eventually it comes naturally. I really enjoy painting. Itzik was recently elected to a senior position in the MFPA, representing both Israel and Europe. He's also exhibited his works around the world. More than a creative pursuit, painting gives Itzik and Netta's lives purpose and the chance to gain financial independence via the sale of postcards, calendars, and prints. <laughs> The organization is one of the most wonderful, important humanitarian associations in the world. They take people who've been injured or sick, some of whom are confined to wheelchairs or are completely bedridden, and give them the possibility of expressing themselves creatively. The association also provides members with an income. It's very, very important. Neta Nitzik's work shows that against all odds, the human spirit cannot be bound. And our thanks to Maya Margit for that report.